What's going on? Shout out to Jumbo. That's your most favorite avid YouTuber in the whole entire world. Back with another video. Now today, I do have a rack roll for y'all. But of course, this one is a little bit different. This one's only a little bit different because apparently Mr. Beast is back in the news. And not for anything good again. Now, I don't know what is fully going down this time. But all the other shit was pretty crazy. I ain't gonna lie. But... This one from the comments and everything that I'm seeing, like, of course, I didn't do the intel to see what was going down, but I want to see what people's reaction is, and they are disgusted. They are going crazy. They are wild, and, like, some of the shit they are saying got me going, whoa, 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 and then just their comments in general were crazy as hell. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see what the hell is going on, because if it is as crazy and as disturbing as the comments are misleading it towards to be, yeah, we're in for one. Like, Mr. Beast might be cooked. But, of course, I have to say this is all alleged. Allegedly, allegedly, nothing has proof until proven. So, yeah, it's all alleged. And also, shout out to Plague Flag of a video we are about to react to. Of course, go check its channel. Go subscribe. Go like the video. Go do all that goodness, of course. But, like I said, this is all alleged until proven. So, take it with a grain of salt. But, you know, some crazy-ass proof comes out with this shit, then... All right, y'all. No more hesitations. Let's get into the video. Now. A new video just revealed some very disturbing information that Mr. Beast has been working around the clock to hide, been mm. taking steps to make sure it never come out, mm. but it came out. And I'll be real, this right here is really bad for Mr. Beast because for the most part, Mr. Beast has managed to sort of survive and flow over water throughout this entire scandal. Mr. Beast was able to fully discredit Dog Pack 404 and turn the audience against them. Huge Dog Pack 404 drama. Apparently one of the allegations he's made against the Mr. Beast member was completely off and he's losing credibility by the minute. It turns out there's a lot of people in North Carolina named James Warren who, who assault their girlfriends, I guess. He so even yep. though Dog Pack 404 dropped the greatest hit pieces nope. of our generation I didn't know that one. Mr. Beast was able to fully discredit Dog Pack 404 because he caught him in one particular thing that wasn't true. And that sort of made everybody forget about, you know, I don't know, right? The whole story of sex addicts and pedos and abusers in his company, right? So, so for a while there, a lot of us forgot Mr. Beast went on to drop, you know, this lunch lease thing he's got going on and drop a new kiss toy he got going on. It was just dropping videos willy nilly, man. But Dog Pack 404 and Rosetta, they're back to expose Mr. Beast, man, for essentially doing the unthinkable in 4K. Oh, so, so, new update. I have received thousands of leaked messages from an official Mr. Beast work chat. These are all just their work chats from 2020 to about 2021 on Telegram. I have verified the legitimacy of these chats with multiple former employees, and let me tell you, they are absolutely insane. I've what done my they? best to censor the messages for you in this YouTube video, but I just want you to know that the actual chats are uncensored. I'm glad the Predators are getting exposed, but let's not oh. go here, bro. This is just That's what a it was. complete Some... drop of the ball for Mr. Beast. Uh. If I'm Mr. Beast with as much connections as I have, I can't get Telegram to archive the workplace chat as soon as I start getting exposed. Now, we're about to see how Mr. Beast went above and beyond to make sure that his name is nowhere associated with this group chat. This man knew how horrific this group chat was and he oh. went out of his way to conceal his involvement with I was about to say he got caught with, oh. that, I want to show you that John Smith in mm -hmm. these chat logs is Mr. Beast we've had this confirmed by multiple former employees he mm -hmm. changed his name on Telegram at some point after I'll just show some messages to show that John Smith is Jimmy here he's saying he got exposed after Keemstar called him a simp on Twitter and then here he gets tagged as Jimmy by someone else of course I knew that every time I text Keem about drama he tells me to fuck off and that he's known for 23 hours I want to point out really quick Mr. Beast and and Keemstar are really close friends. They text, they talk all the time. You'll see them communicating and talking with each other. They're best gambling friends. Here's another Mr. Beast chat where John Smith is asked what his Discord name is, and he says Mr. Beast. That right there throws out the window this narrative that Mr. Beast is this super happy-go-lucky, innocent, super naive dude who's just the victim of having some very sick and bad friends. No, 
this here shows that Mr. Beast I mean, was a it's not enough for me to say, yeah, Beast he knew, but it definitely wrong. looks like because he knew. go back and to be as deceptive as Mr. Beast attempted to be, which was go back and try to delete all trace of you being in that group chat, shows, one, you know what was happening in that group chat was terrible, and two, you know what you did in that group chat was also terrible, and you don't want it to come out. And boy, was it terrible. Because Mr. Beast was a willing participant in a group chat where Ava Chris Tyson essentially did the most deplorable things that are damn near criminal in the face of Mr. Beast, and he cheered it on. And get to the messages. Oh, he cheered it on. Uh. Explicit uh, photo of an alleged 13-year-old. Oh, my gosh. Oh, this isn't a work chat. So Ava Tyson sends a photo of a young-looking girl in a sheer top. Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Yeah, and the message reads, so this photo is allegedly of Ivanka Trump when she was 13. Ava thought that this was possibly a 13-year-old, and she's posting it in a work chat. And then I've done a reverse image search, and I mean, it seems plausible that it is. Uh, I don't know. I'm also judging, bro, for downloading that image to reverse image search it. Yeah, low why key. Would you harvest a photo of a 13-year-old girl on your computer? Or, anyway, yeah, nah. Even if it's that is a little bro, bit uh, weird, like, but... Nah, bro, like, 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 you could very well pass up on the opportunity to reverse search that image. I think that's sick, and Chris is also sick. But here's the thing, yeah, bro. Yeah, definitely like, sick for that shit. There's a narrative that Chris was doing this, and they were a renegade, and Mr. Beast didn't know, and he can't police his entire friend group. Searching but no, up the third. Mr. Beast would even say some things in these chats that reveals that he knows how Chris got down. Like, he knew what type of person he was dealing with. He knew he was dealing with somebody who was an absolute deviant who may have an appetite for people who are underage. Agreed. Let's see if Jimmy knew about Ava's uh, concerning behavior. June of 2021, he sends a message of an anime called Higgy Hero, or Higgy Hero, says, I bet Chris would love this show. Why? What's this show about? Well, it's interesting that you ask, because this show is about a romantic relationship between a 26-year-old salary man and a 17-year-old high school runaway. It's well known online what in the to fuck? be a controversial anime. Uh, and this anime is based on even more explicit novels that that go uh, into the details of this romantic relationship between. Yeah, that don't sound like being edgy or anything. That's like People hinting at some shit. Off as friends joking with each other? No, 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 no. I have friends. We're in group chats. A friend might send a picture of a morbidly obese person and say, "Ha ha ha." Look at Flacco's girlfriend. That right there is joking on each other. No friend of mine has ever joked about any of us liking oh, the girls. That's never happened. But Ava Chris Tyson's activities are even more disturbing. She goes ahead and makes fun or make a mockery or even make a joke about being attracted to 14-year-old Violet from The Incredibles. Now, the meme that she oh, posted is who? even more sick once you look at the details of the meme. So here's the meme, and hopefully you spot the details, but we'll review it afterwards if you don't spot it. Again, actually explicit meme about Violet from <gasps> no! The Incredibles. Oh, no. She also engaged with a, a meme on Twitter of Violet throwing her backpack, and he responded, low-key, she cute, and a reminder, Violet is a fictional character that's 14 years old. I love The Incredibles. This is an adorable movie that I watch with my nephews, and I agree she is cute, but I don't think Tyson is saying she's cute the way I'm thinking she's cute. Well, here, I'll explain the meme to you. This so he shared a meme <laughs> of an actual 14-year-old girl dressed oh. up as Violet. And then on the very last slide of the meme, what you see is nipple piercings and a butt plug. So they are imagining a 14-year-old girl wearing nipple piercings and a butt plug. Yo, these people are sick. And this is all happening, by the way, in front of Mr. Beast. Yeah. Mr. Beast is engaging with this stuff. <sighs> so Jimmy in the chat is saying, I bet Chris would love this show because it's yeah. right up her alley. Why do you think Chris would love that show, Jimmy? Why specifically this anime out of all animes out there? I've heard there's a lot of different animes out there. There is, and, and Ava is well-versed in all of them. Here's some chat messages talking about... Digimon, how the first episode of season five is a beach episode. So much boobies. And ah, uh, if you don't follow the plot, Food Wars is just food and porn. Oops, she clarifies, underage porn. Oh, 
They're like, hey, we're all second year high schoolers and now we are having orgasms. This steak is so bomb. I don't think that Ava Chris Tyson was just spamming these messages by herself. I feel like people were So far, yeah, it's all still alleged. Chris Tyson, Ava, whatever the hell. Chris Tyson is basically the one that is really coming off as the monster. Yeah, Mr. Beast does seem to be knowing the truth and all that, allegedly, but, like, he really isn't... I, I, yeah, he could have stopped it. He could have said something. He could have not put him in given that platform. Of course. Yeah, I'm not saying that, but so far, like, basically, besides all that, he hasn't actually done anything physically. And, I, you know, like, yeah, if he started doing that psycho shit, too, then it would really be cooked. But the fact that he did all the other stuff already explained is where he's cooked in my mind as of now but of course it's all alleged we don't know it's true but chris tyson for ava tyson whatever cooked that's disgusting you're nasty as hell you deserve to be in jail or i don't know like i don't just not around and especially i don't think nah i'm not even gonna speak on how they i hope that's the proper terms not my bad but i, I know they got a kid so uh I hope you're not around your kid at all because you don't deserve to be, in my opinion, especially if you're doing and thinking some disgusting ass shit. I'm not saying you're going to go, with, you know what I mean? But like, just in general, you don't deserve to be by any of them. Shit, I wouldn't, I might have to make sure, I'm on demon time if I see you standing by any kids. Shit, I see you near a park and I'm starting to get worried. Like, you damn near are all walking free candy van just from reading these messages. Wait, I don't uh, know. <laughs> like, damn. But, yeah, besides, so far, Mr. Beast is, like, a little bit cooked, but not as bad as that. But, yeah, this is a side note. Gangs and people were cheering them on. People were also sending their offensive stuff together. But Mr. Beast went out of his way to delete a lot of things. Now, Mr. Beast, by the way, Right, a lot of us think, oh my God, why did it take so long for Mr. Beast to fire Ava Chris Tyson? Oh my God, why did Mr. Beast come out immediately and denounce it? Oh my God, Mr. Beast hired a private investigator to find out if Ava was really dealing with kids. Uh, bro, all of that is filth. <laughs> Mr. Beast, from his very engagement in chat, you could tell Mr. Beast don't see a thing. That's wrong with what Ava Chris Tyson is doing in that chat. Mr. Beast has the same humor. Oh, this is a meme of a fake video saying I filled my brother's house with gum and bought him a new one. Oh, gross. Hey, at least we're not talking about children for once, but I think maybe... The scandal that's here is... I must say... Mr. Beast was edgy I, with his friends. It, it, it looked low-key, my dumb childish humor kicked in. That one low-key at me a little it bit. It feels yeah. like Mr. Beast... Share similar values. They didn't have nothing to do with anything crazy. It feels it that funny. because no. Mr. Beast didn't step in to stop certain things from happening, that he shares certain values and beliefs, such as Mr. Beast may be completely fine with Ava Chris Tyson sharing this racial art in that chat. I love Animal Crossing. This is heartbreaking. Okay, well, uh, look away then. You've got something thanks. really big in your pocket. Hurry up and show it to me. Okay. It's a clock. And then I don't know what this... Are you familiar with dick flattening? What is that? I think it's just something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. That's, that's a bad. ton of Nazi symbols. One thing that really bothers me is that when you look at the dates of these chats, this is when Jimmy was already mainstream. This is when his videos are getting millions of views. Mr. Beast must have really trusted whoever he was engaging with and with that trust probably comes some level of surety that you guys all share certain morals and values and none of you guys think what y'all are doing are wrong so this probably won't get out so, and it's sickening now do i think mr beast is racist i don't know probably not do i think mr beast is a pedo i don't know probably not is this behavior very concerning for anybody who still supports mr beast yes and i don't think jimmy being silent and Wait until everything goes away and never addressing it is the right thing to do. He owes his audience an explanation. Whoever yeah, that audience... he right, low-key. He should just basically come out and give a full-on honest explanation because at this damn point, 
you know, everything that's going around is just getting worse. It's going to be a harder explanation. And honestly, you're just getting more and more cooked looking. Now, I will be brutally honest. I don't think he is, like, anything that crazy. I feel like, yeah, he was, yeah, you could basically said he uh, basically wasn't, I don't know what that word is. He was being placent. Then I don't know if that's the word or not. I learned this, but he kicking it like a mother. But he was being placent. He wasn't really saying anything. He was low key, just adding jokes in with it. Even though I feel like he knew that his friend was low key a fucked up individual. But yeah, that's basically like you know where he gets cooked from and all that. So I just don't think it's on a different degree as of his friend. His friend is a full sicko, full creed, disgusting. And yeah, I, I like the proof. It's proofing even more. Now, I, of course, I don't know how correct that proof is, so I'm still sticking with it. It's alleged. But just from that shit, you got me beat off that. That's nasty as fuck, okay? Just straight up disgusting. But really, that's all I got to say about it. I do want to know what y'all think in the comment section down below. Also, in the comments, comment your boy, make a make all kinds of videos. So comment what you want to see. And uh, yeah, that's like all for the video.